that here we are with Quinn from Quinn and the Adventurers. And uh, we started working with you, Quinn, when we saw, I'm going to call it Stuff Fishermen Say, your video. Yeah. It's, it's kind of a different name, but we'll call it that for um, today's purposes. And yeah. it was really funny. And then since then, you've actually produced uh, a fun fishing video for Ultimate Fishing Town. How did you think up of this latest video? Um, basically, I just thought of the contest, looking for the ultimate fishing town, and I figured the best way to promote it would be to showcase a town that's obsessed with fishing, and so we just did that in a fun kind of way that was meant to inspire a bit of a chuckle and get people to nominate their towns. I definitely chuckled um, over the course of the video. It was good. I'm impressed. So when you're not making these fun fishing videos, what are you doing in life? Um, I do a bunch of different things to, uh, just to kind of keep my head above water, do some personal training and some tree work, and but most mostly just fishing and making videos wherever I okay. can. And are you a fishing guide or are you mostly on the production side of things? Uh, I'm not a guide. I just fish for fun and and then do a lot of the production stuff as well. So that's to do with Quinn and the Adventures then. Tell me a bit about more about it, that. Um, I started Captain Quinn and the Adventures as part of like a, an initiative years ago to promote the outdoors to save the outdoors. So we go out and we document all the exciting things people can do outside and try to inspire people to get outside because with technology these days it's a lot easier to just stay inside <laughs> and um, I figure if people can appreciate everything that the great outdoors has to offer then they'd be that much more inclined to stand up for the environment when she needs us to. So great we, concept. Yeah. I love been, that. So how long have you been doing it for? Um, started it four years ago. Three okay. Since doing that, what would you say is your craziest video that you've produced? Uh, the one that we had the most fun with was a docu like an 18-minute little documentary that we put together called Just Fishing. Mm -hmm. And it was shot up in northern BC, and we just toured around fly fishing uh, three different rivers over the course of a week. And it was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, well, I'm, I guess I'm kind of in the same business, um, fishing and, and shooting it and getting yeah. paid for it. So it's pretty awesome, and I can relate. Um, uh, no matter if you're in the outdoors and you're also making a living from it, it's you know it doesn't get any better than that. No, um, I can't see what it does. Right? Who got you into fishing? Um, my opa did when I was about four, of course. Everyone gets into fishing with their through their grandpa, don't they? Uh, actually, I got into fishing through my dad, my uncle, and my mom. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bob. Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it runs in the family. Yeah. But, yeah. So through your OPA. Yeah. And, um, well, I have one question, but I'm going to save it for the absolute last. Um, tell me a little bit more about um, your your programs. Like, do you run any kind of programs for, with your with your website and your production stuff? Yeah, we uh, we're big. Like, obviously, we love fishing. That's my personally my favorite thing in the world to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I was growing up fishing with my opa, he'd tell me stories about when the fishing was so good. It wasn't a matter of whether you'd go out and catch a fish. It was how long it would take you to fill the boat. And seeing that sort of decline in fish populations since I've grown up sort of raised a bunch of red flags. And last summer, uh, as part of an initiative to restore Pacific pop salmon populations to the Sunshine Coast, we launched the first ever Swim for the Salmon, which okay. was we swam, or I swam, 30, the Seashell Inlet, which is 32 kilometers, through the Skookumchuck Narrows, which is the second largest tidal surge in the world. And it ended up taking 14 hours. And oh, my God tons of awareness to the issue and it was a very challenging but rewarding day. Did you swim by yourself? I had um, my best friend was in a kayak beside me and my other best friend was in a rowboat beside me and then I had 
a whole bunch of friends and family and different boats for the entire day. And it was, uh, it was awesome. That's insane. Yeah. That makes sense. So you look pretty fit in some of the videos I've seen you in. <laughs> now I understand it. Right back at you. That's crazy. Um, if people want more information on all of this, where should they go to? CaptainQuinn.com. Easy. Okay. So this is great chatting with you. You're a very interesting guy, Captain Quinn. Likewise, Mariko. Yeah. Um, lastly, where is your ultimate fishing town? Uh, I love Terrace. Terrace and Euclid. Those are my two favorite fishing towns to go to. But I want to make Seashell, which is where I live right now, the Sunshine Coast, the ultimate fishing town like it was back in the 80s. So I'm going to put together a video and nominate our town. Okay, I was going to say. So make sure you nominate. Yeah, it's I, April 30th. Working on it right now. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Good. Well, I love your enthusiasm. It's great. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you for chatting with us. Yeah, thank you, Mariko, and have fun at Coachella. Oh, I will do, will do. Good luck on your nomination. Thank you, thank you. Take care.